been talking a lot about trust, and I'd love to roll back to when I first kind of naively started thinking about trust, and then I started comparing trust with trustworthiness. And I ended up being kind of binary about this, where, where trust became, you know, the brand 9 out of 10 doctors recommend most, uh, and here's an old ad for cigarettes. There's plenty of them you can find online, including Ronald Reagan uh, pitching Chesterfields. Uh, and, and it was like, well, of course they can't be trusted. And, and it isn't so much that cigarette makers didn't know that it might be harmful. It's just that there's really a lot of lying that goes on in advertising. And the trustworthiness is really about your actions, in particular your actions in crisis. And a reasonable example here is the Tylenol crisis and how the maker of Tylenol uh, not only pulled all the Tylenol off the shelves very quickly, but then redesigned bottles and took a, a series of steps pretty quickly. And in fact, as the victim of a crisis turned out to have earned a lot of trustworthiness over the crisis, through the crisis, which is the opposite of what we could say about Volkswagen these days, where it's uh, increasingly clear that their diesel uh, conspiracy went all the way to the top and that they've been lying through their teeth. Uh, all sorts of scandal, and yet they're busy advertising and just sort of making their way through the crisis. So if being trustworthy is the goal, that means you need to act well over time because trustworthy is earned through actions. Just saying, hey, trust me is something you can advertise for. That's interesting. So then, then I started thinking, well, you know, you, there's a difference between being trustworthy and untrustworthy, and I, I'm an optimist. So for me, most people, organizations, governments, whatever, start as trustworthy and then they fall from grace by screwing something up, by overcharging, by losing my data, by ripping me off, by lying, by, by screwing in the commons, any number of things. And, and it's perfectly legitimate to be a pessimist and to have everybody start as untrustworthy and maybe earn their way up to being trustworthy. That's totally legit. Um, the thing is that even when you are completely trustworthy, it doesn't really change your relationship. And here I'm talking about companies being perfectly trustworthy. Uh, they could be open with about everything they do. They could be really using fair trade and a whole series of things. And it doesn't necessarily make them that much different to you. Uh, they might be preferable as a vendor, but it, we really haven't shifted the relationship. So then I started thinking, well, there's a place above this fray which is different. And I call it being a trusted ally. Um, it means that we are busy pulling on the rope together. Um, it means that we are um, on the same side of this. And I, I, maybe I can use a metaphor to explain this notion of trusted ally a little bit. Uh, if, you're, um, if you've got the curtains drawn in front of your organization, there's really no reason to trust you. And you might pull open the curtains, in which case you might become trustworthy, and that would be a great thing. But if you pull me behind the curtain, take me backstage, show me what you have, show me all the tools you have, show me the data you've collected on me, on everybody, uh, maintaining privacy between us, but say, how might we hack your health together? How might we hack your wealth together? All those sorts of things. That's being a trusted ally. Now, there's a lot more to this, and it's a really aspirational position. I think it's really easy to say you're a trusted ally, much, much harder to live that life. But that's where thinking on trust uh, has taken me. It's taken me at lots of other places, including design from trust and what if we trusted you and a few other things. But um, that's it for, for this piece. This video is part of a larger work on trust, which is part of a larger thesis about the relationship economy. I'm Jerry Mikulski, and please uh, subscribe here if you like this, or go to jerrymikulski.com and you will see more things like it. Thanks very much for listening.